G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today, um, I'm not going to do anything hands-on, but I want to explain to you guys about a project that I want to take on this week. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing it at the start of the week, or the end of the week, or next week, or... Anyway, let me show you what I want to do. Um, I kind of want a little bit of advice on it. Well, not advice, just a... Just your thoughts. Alright, so um, I had three tanks that were 2.5 foot wide and they were too big for our project. So I managed to swap them for, tank, for three tanks that are 2 foot wide. I'm slightly disappointed because um, the guy didn't explain that one is actually smaller than the other two. But I just accepted the deal. It'll still work with what I want to do. Um, the only thing is they're not going to be three matching tanks. So let me go show you where I want to put the tanks. Some of you have already seen where I want to put them, but I'll just re-explain it because I, I need, I want to brainstorm a little bit. All right, so one of the tanks is going on this wall here, right there, basically above that frame there. Um, another tank is going above that frame there and it will just sit on it. I'm thinking about putting the smaller one here um, just because the air conditioner is there, this space is actually smaller than that one as well. Um, I think it'll give like a similar effect as like it'll look similar in size, but it's actually smaller if that makes sense. And then you guessed it guys, the last one is actually going here, which there's an air pump in the way. So um, basically that air pump is going to go there real easy to move that no drama at all I uh, just need to make an, a longer line um, probably just use a bit of garden hose instead of the clear same same size and I've got plenty of garden hose um, so uh, yeah that's easy move that tank goes in there um, if you don't know it's because I want to get some dwarf Americans I've already got some on the ground there so they they will actually go in one of these tanks um, quick question guys, so when I build that rack across there, um, I was going to put some 45 angles down to the wall to support it, to stop it from tilting, but I'm low key thinking about getting stainless steel wire and hanging it off this rack here, and so like the front end will be floating. Um, this tank here would have to hang off the two sides, and then same with the last one. Um, the stainless steel wire would hang off the two sides but I think it would look pretty cool if the front was suspended by stainless steel wire so A the question is do you think I should do it and B the question is has anybody in Perth got some stainless steel wire hanging around and also while I'm here guys I kind of wanted to give you a bit of an update on the flower horns um, they did actually hatch I'm not sure if I've told you on the channel that they hatched or not or whether I just said I had eggs but much it's actually to my surprise they hatched uh, I was looking at them on maybe day three of eggs and they looked like they weren't gonna hatch and then they did hatch which is always the way I find with flower horns when you think they're not gonna hatch they end up hatching there's not a whole lot there there's probably maybe 30 to 50 but the the fact of that is that the male is fertile so even though it's not a whole lot of fry it's definitely a step in the right direction um, and also I don't even know if I'm going to release much of this batch here this is just a it's kind of not an experiment but it, it, it's it's a tool towards my future of breeding flower horns so if you don't know it's the gold base boy and the red dragon girl um, one thing that's quite bizarre about all my girls, you can see how she doesn't have much red through her. Um, all of the all of the flower horn females have I've bred have had low red, and which is bizarre because the vampire line they came from, the the girls are like the reddest girls you've ever seen in your life. So um, it's quite bizarre that none of the girls are full full body red. 
and also um, I sold a male which is magma cross vampire cross monster and then a guy bought someone bought a male off me and bred it with a vampire cross monster which so that means that um, it was like nephew bred with auntie so really strong vampire monster genes and he also said he's yet to get a full body red girl which I find really bizarre um, kind of want to talk to a couple of people about that uh, basically Zach and Jaden they're both um, really familiar with the traits of those bloodlines and I want to know why because it, it, it seems strange but we'll just keep working towards it breeding with a um, gold base should bring more red to the line and I'm, I really am not sure why the red has disappeared from the line um, obviously Richard still got the full red he's not very happy about being in this smaller tank but um I want to breed this boy over Richard at the moment I'm kind of thinking about selling Richard but I, I honestly the, uh, there's no way I can bring myself to do it um, but anyway I'm gonna wrap that one up there so it's just a quick little one I'm just having a bit of a lazy day that's all um, work six days this week so I'm, I'm a little bit over building stuff I, I was gonna try and start the two foot racks today but I just can't be bothered so <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up there if you like this video give a thumbs up if you want to subscribe for more hit that little red button i'll see you guys i'll see the members tomorrow peace out